Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Excuse the Beard. All masked up, we are back in Delhi, and we are driving the Hyundai Alcazar. Actually, we have driven the Alcazar before, but this most importantly is the diesel with the manual transmission. This, I think, I've got my variants right. This is the Prestige or Platinum. I don't know which is the the middle spec car with the bench seat at the back. So the seven seater. And one criticism of Hyundai has been uh, that they, the Alcazar diesel is an underpowered car. It is underpowered because it has the same engine as the Creta, which is the 115 PS 1.5 diesel. And this becomes a big question because is it really underpowered? Because the petrol version has the 2 litre no engine which has a lot more power than the diesel and um, everybody saying that oh the Alcazar is underpowered now many people didn't have the same criticism of, of Maruti when Maruti used to stick the 1.3 DDI's engine virtually on every car they found including rather large cars like the Ertiga um, back in the day and even the S-Cross is this car underpowered now to be fair, I have primarily been driving this car over the past week uh, with low load conditions. Myself, uh, maybe a family member or two, or the kid in his child seat back there. But over a few days, uh, we have actually driven this car in the city with uh, heavy loads. So my in-laws were over, so we had four adults in the car and a baby. And the entire boot space was actually filled with plants and uh, fertilizer and that's those are quite heavy you know those, those big uh, 20 25 gunny, uh, kilogram gunny bags of fertilizer and soil and two of those and plants so there was almost 100 kgs of stuff back in the boot not a third row of not a full third row but um, of people but a lot of luggage at the back and it's really convenient that because that's main use case i still feel is for people who need luggage space and you know even with a high heavy load this car handled well i mean this engine still has a decent amount of torque at 250 newton meters of torque and by putting a smaller diesel by putting a diesel engine that they actually manufactured in india Hyundai has managed to keep the Alcazar diesel at a relatively affordable price. I mean, could they have put the 2 litre diesel? Yes, they could have. Um, you know, some you could suspect that if they put a 2 litre diesel in this car, the same engine as they put in the Tucson, um, sales of the Tucson might have been affected uh, because this is a lot cheaper than a Tucson. Uh, I think they're fundamentally different vehicles. But I don't think sales of the Tucson would have been affected, but because the 2 litre diesel engine is a rare engine for Hyundai, it's not really uh, fitted on many cars, it would be an expensive proposition because that engine is primarily imported or most of its parts are imported and it would have cost a lot more and driven the diesel Alcazar's price up by 2 lakhs maybe. So, um, I think Hyundai is on a good decision. It isn't the peppiest car in the world, the uh, diesel Alcazar. No, it isn't. I mean, but you wouldn't be buying a Hyundai Alcazar for peppiness. Uh, you buy a Hyundai Alcazar because you need space. And you know what? The diesel Alcazar gets the job done. Um, what I'm not so happy about, well, there's certain things that you discover when you start living with a car. One of them is that this cool um, indicator cameras that come on over here in this uh, digital display. Well, at night, if somebody's driving with a beam, with high beam behind you, uh, they sort of, they blind you almost. It's like a big blob of white light you see over here. Uh, that's a problem. I mean, maybe uh, one day could consider putting some sort of uh, light dimming stuff on the camera at night when you put the cameras on or maybe this, there should be a way for me to disable the cameras at night because uh, seeing a blurred out just white screen is a bit difficult. Uh, the other thing again I don't uh, like the fact that Hyundai's only put six airbags on the top model. Uh, I know the when 
Minister of Road Transportation and Highways, Nitin Gadkari, recently said that car manufacturers should put six airbags on all models. Yes and no, I think uh, people should have that option of, you know, when you're buying a basic city commuter car for yourself, uh, you may not want six airbags uh, if the car is never going to have a lot of people traveling in them. However, because the Alcazar is designed for families, I think having um, six airbags or even the option of putting six airbags in the car should be given on the lower specs of the car. Otherwise, I think the Alcazar is a great buy for families who need luggage like, space to take on go on long journeys. So yeah, it remains a good buy. And it's a car that I think, uh, yeah, you should consider buying, even the diesel one. It's not the peppiest thing around, as I said, but it gets the job done.